What's up guys, it's Marquez702 here and welcome to an analysis video on Sonic Project 2017 for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, NX, and PC. So guys, in this little analysis video, if you guys don't remember, like maybe a week and a half ago to two weeks ago, I made an analysis video on the other game for Sonic's 25th anniversary, which was Sonic Mania, and we talked about that, talked about the trailer, and not only that, maybe GameSpot's video, we kind of delved into that, the gameplay aspects, and what the game was trying to kind of bring out for old fans, and stuff like that, so I made that video quite a long time ago, or at least like a week ago, and figured since this is also a huge part of Sonic's 25th anniversary, I can make a video talking about this as well, and especially in a more in-depth analysis video like this, and um, just like last time, I'm going to be talking about about the trailer kind of looking at what we can um, you know take from this and kind of predict what's going to be going on for the main game and you know just kind of pick at some things that we might be seeing for future trailers on this game since this is a huge project and yes also, um, like last time, like I said, I'm making this analysis video, but this is going to be a lot more organized since, of course, this is a larger project, and also I think it's more interesting to kind of pick out what's going to be going on in the plot for this huge game. But um, anyway, I'm going to be kind of cutting a lot, like editing, like a lot of things for um, the trailer and kind of discussing what we can probably see from all this. So you guys are going to be seeing a lot of editing being done. But if you guys do enjoy this, make sure as always to drop that like. Always means a lot to me guys. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this. So right off the bat, we see that uh, the developers from not only Sonic Colors, but also Sonic Generations are working on this game. And um, we see all the introductions and stuff. And then we are introduced to this fiery looking environment to where destruction's going on around this little city, so it seems. And it says in the darkest times, like pay attention to that one thing it says. It says in the darkest of times, meaning that this isn't going to be any kind of light-hearted Sonic game um, like we have gotten in the past, or at least recently, um, like Sonic Colors and of course Generations, to where their storylines were pretty, um, pretty serious, but at the same time, not really because the humor in there was just super obvious, like meant towards like more of a child audience and stuff like that, which is perfectly fine. But me personally, um, every Ever since Sonic, mm, what is it, Sonic Adventure 2, I really did like the story there because it kind of brought more of like a darker kind of, um, darker kind of vibe uh, that was kind of shooting off of there. And although it wasn't really, really bad to where it was like Sonic 06 bad or maybe even Sonic into the Secret, uh, Secret Rings, um, or maybe Sonic and the Black Knight, it's still, um, good that we're getting this kind of more serious kind of game because, I mean, of course, after all this time of having not so serious games and more kind of, uh, meant towards child audiences, now we're gonna be getting something really, really good, something more intense as for the storyline. So that's just something I really caught there, uh, when they decided to bring up that little uh, line and yes hold on let me get back to this real quick i'm gonna be pausing a lot so if you guys do notice that but yes these two robots that you guys see in front of you right now um in my little discussion video, my first discussion video on this game, I was saying how this was definitely not going to be Eggman because, um, I don't know, I just said, I don't know why I thought that, like, it was super really stupid, like, what I said, because, first of all, there are two Sonics in this game, you know, kind of like Sonic Generations, right? And in Sonic Generations, there were two Eggmans, since, of course, one from Classic and one from Modern. Now... Two huge looking egg shaped robots. Wow, I did not think it was Eggman at all. But yes, I was too, uh, really, really wrong about that. Yeah, as you all can see, there are two egg shaped robots here. So yes, we are going to be getting Eggman as a villain once again for this little, um, for this huge project, this game. And they are the ones who are wreaking havoc upon this city. Um, the world needs a hero, meaning that Sonic's going to be stepping in and getting his job done, which is, of course, stopping Eggman. No matter how many Eggmans there are, Sonic's going to be doing his job and just get into that, get into that business. And you can clearly see the serious fake, uh, the serious face that he's making right now when he starts to dash off into this huge scene of destruction. And as you all can see, he's doing a little bit of a homing attack. Um, you can see like a little homing attack onto the ground right there as he jumps off and lands. It's like a little bit of a homing attack. So so we do have confirmation that he's going to be doing something like that. But also something you start to notice here is that when he starts to dash into the robots, he does a little bit of a roll right there. Not so much as a spin dash, but like a roll like he used to do in Sonic 1. Something that you were only allowed to do when you were running. So maybe, like, the thing I get 
the thing that I'm getting from this is that maybe we're going to be able to kind of bring back some of the classic mechanics from classic games, but not completely classic to where it's like just um, spin dashing into enemies and jumping into enemies. Um, it's clear that we do have a homing attack kind of mechanic in this and uh, somewhat of a boost as well as we'll see later in this trailer. Um, and of course, right when um, Sonic is about to be smashed from all that debris, um, Classic Sonic gets in and saves the day, as of course they are partners in this game, so we do have Classic Sonic in here, which got me thinking, yeah, this is going to be Sonic Generations 2, but um, something I'm going to be talking about a little bit later is that this is not really Sonic Generations 2, as uh, they confirmed not too long ago, um, but yeah, as they start to boost off into the distance, yeah, you guys saw that, right? You guys see how they're running together, and all of, all of a sudden, you see them boosting into where the egg-shaped robots are going into. So, that is also some kind of confirmation that Classic Sonic, even Classic Sonic, will be able to boost into the scene, or just being able to boost in the game. So, um, if you guys don't remember, in Sonic Generations, uh, the first game, of course, um, you had that Sonic... Modern Sonic, anyway, was teaching Classic Sonic some of his uh, some of his modern moves, maybe like the stomp, and also, well, not the stomp, but the homing attack. So now that we get to see Classic Sonic boosting, it's kind of like he has like the same kind of effect on him, like he did in Sonic Generations, to where he was teaching him new moves, and in this game, he's going to be teaching uh, him some more moves, maybe even the stomp. Um, of course, he already knows the homing attack at this point, and of course, now that we just saw the little boost mechanic, we see that the heroes are boosting off because you guys do see in the distance they're both boosting it's not like classic sonic is just running towards the robots he is also boosting so that is some kind of confirmation that they're both kind of taking the modern approach and that both egg-shaped robots are shooting their lasers at them getting ready to fight and the final thing that it says here before the trailer ends is join the resistance holiday 2017 so this means that there is going to be some kind of major plot as for this um, project, of course, because, I mean, of course, we had the serious vibe saying in the darkest of times, and we had the serious look on Modern Sonic's face, and then running into the distance, and all this huge destruction going on, but not only that, it says join the resistance at the end of the video, so that kind of indicates that this isn't going to be anything like Sonic Colors, Sonic Generations, although the plot may be kind of similar to where, of course, the two heroes need to team up to take down Eggman, it's not going to be as lighthearted as it did, of course, in Sonic Generations or Colors. So that's something to look forward to, going to be getting something like Sonic Adventure 2, like I said earlier, uh, but nothing too serious to where it's like bad, like of course Sonic 06, or maybe even Sonic and the Secret Ring to where it's just, you know, it's not really that good as for a story or plot, and um, I'm really excited about this, and although it is going to be holiday 2017, which is really, really far away as of right now, it's still very good because they're going to be putting a lot of effort into this, and just a lot of uh, thought as what the plot's going to be. Now, um, let's go ahead and backtrack to where we see the environment for the very first time, because that is something really important that could possibly um, indicate where the heroes are when they're fighting Eggman and stuff like that. So right when we see this, we see the town or city in ruin and in flames and one of the two egg-shaped robots, pretty much Eggman, are just wreaking havoc and destroying the city, right? So after that next scene, we have them looking into the distance, the world needs a hero, we see Sonic. Let's go ahead and pause it right there. We see more of the scene right now, more of the city. As you all can see, there are more like buildings um, instead of just uh, just a regular crowd. Um, a crowd of like buildings and stuff like that. Um, what I basically thought in my little discussion video for this game, my first one anyway, which was a couple of weeks ago, I was saying how, oh, this looks a lot like Crisis City, right? Um, only because I saw the fire and all the flames and ruins and stuff like that. But once you look more in detail in this first scene with Sonic, you see that this looks a lot more building structure like, something like City Escape. So, um, another YouTuber I'm going to be shouting out, and also I'm going to be showing his video, Kobanamani456, a huge Sonic YouTuber, definitely make sure to check him out, because he also a few weeks ago, or maybe last month at this point, made a video. Uh, he was at the event for um, the Sonic party, in which they showed off not only Sonic Mania, but also Sonic Project 2017 for the very first time. So we see in this um, exclusive look before the trailer starts, we see of course Sonic having this um, 
little question mark on him. I guess they're talking about um, where, what's this gonna be? What's this huge game that he's gonna be right? Like, and then a little bit later, we start to see the trailer. It's gonna be coming up very, very soon. So once that starts to come up, we're gonna start to see. All right, let's go ahead and skip a little bit over here. And now they're gonna be getting into um, the scene. So let's go ahead and pause it right there. So you guys can kind of see it, but not really see it that well because you know the lighting is a little bit off in uh, Kobana Mani 456's view. Um, but you know you kind of you gotta understand. There's like a huge crowd of people looking for this game, right? So uh, basically, you have Sonic 25th Anniversary logo with Classic Sonic, um, his usual thing, just pointing the finger like this. And eh, let's go. And then we have in the background City Escape, indicating that maybe this. Maybe a little bit of a teaser or somewhat of a little easter egg. We have something going on right now with um, the setting. So once we go back over to this tab, basically with the trailer, we see that, yes, it is a city. And that he is running through a city which is in flames. Everything is in ruin. And you see a little bit of the buildings a little bit more. Um, it just looks a lot more city-like than anything other like anything else so that's what I kind of picked up once I saw this for um, a, a couple more times and something that I am really curious about is this game gonna be taking the setting of City Escape or at least one of the settings and putting it into this game except all in ruins thanks to Eggman and the other Eggman so that's what I'm thinking is gonna go on because there's no kind of serious um, I'm sorry, there's no kind of lighthearted storyline to where everything is in flames and in dis disaster. So I'm thinking for this new game coming in 2017, we're going to be getting ourselves some pretty serious stuff. Not just City Escape, but maybe even some other settings that are possibly in flames or maybe just in ruins. So that's what I think. And um, I just feel as if this is going to be a super serious game as for not only the setting, but just um, the plot itself. Another thing I really wanted to talk about also is the characters and who is going to be fighting off Dr. Eggman as well as, of course, Classic and Modern Sonic. So what I wanted to talk about mainly was some characters that we haven't seen in a very long time in the Sonic series. As um, Kobana Mighty 456 also made a analysis video on this particular game, talking about who the characters were, and I actually really did um, take the time to think about all this because it does kind of make sense. Um, for the 25th anniversary, of course, they're going to be pulling out some really special things, and especially since they're going to be working on this for quite a long time, since this is coming out at the end of 2017. Um, we start to really realize like who's gonna be in this game and since they're taking so much time there could be a lot of characters put into this game that we haven't seen in a very long time like possibly some of the characters um, from maybe ooh, I'm thinking right now I'm thinking of the characters right now that we could possibly see in here like um, I don't remember their names because it's been such a long time since I've seen these characters um, but I'm thinking maybe the characters, uh, if you guys do remember Sonic the Fighters, that was a pretty cool game that was for the arcade. Um, a very cool Sonic game with different characters. Um, characters that we've never seen um, other than that game. Like, we haven't seen those characters at all except for Sonic the Fighters, um, specific characters. And it kind of gets me thinking, are those, kind of, like, are those characters going to be somewhat coming back? Um, another character that I think might be able to come back in this game is possibly Mighty the Armadillo, as we have never seen him in any other Sonic game except for this one that wasn't even a big deal. It was just some kind of arcade, also an arcade Sonic game, but was never really huge and nothing really talked about. And something that I think was also talked about, um, another game that he's been in was some kind of fan game, not even really realized in the Sonic franchise up until, um, someone made a fan game out of him. So, that gets me thinking, maybe Mighty the Armadillo and some of the classic, classic characters from the comics and also Sonic the Fighters, the arcade game, maybe they can make themselves an appearance in this brand new game since it's been such a long time and maybe they're, they're gonna pull some surprises, I don't know, like Sonic Team has a lot of time on their hands for this game and I'm thinking since they're gonna be putting a lot of characters most likely in this game, they should take the time to put in some of the characters we haven't seen in a very long time. Like I said, the arcade game uh, characters from Sonic the Fighters, slash the comics, and also uh, ones like Mighty the Armadillo, who could possibly make a huge role into this game as well. And um, something else that I wanted to talk about was, you know, some characters that we haven't also seen in a long time are the Chaotix crew, who is, um, of course, 
Vector, Vector the Crocodile, Espio the Chameleon, and of course, uh, Charmy the Bee. We haven't seen those guys in, a qu in quite a long time. Of course, we did see them in Sonic Generations, um, you know, just a small little appearance. I mean, we saw a lot of characters um, in Sonic Generations uh, making an appearance at least, um, but we never really got to see anything huge to where they're playable. Now, something that I'm really wishing for this game is something maybe like different teams are assembled for, you know, taking down both Eggmans. Like, something like Sonic Heroes, you know? Like, Sonic Heroes, you had different teams, like uh, Team Chaotix, Team Hero, Team Rose, uh, different stuff like that, to where they're all separated in their own little groups, but they're all working together at the same time to defeat one enemy, which is, in this case, of course, the Eggmans. So... I'm thinking maybe the Chaotix crew would be a very, very good addition also to be put in here. Um, the hero group being, of course, um, Sonic, Knuckles, and maybe even Tails, and classic Sonic. And um, having more groups like that, something bringing back some classic or just nostalgic uh, mechanics and games, and then putting them into this game. So something uh, like they have in Sonic Mania, to where they're bringing back the old mechanics there. So I'm just thinking maybe that'd be a great idea as for characters and stuff like that. Since, they, of course, they have a lot of time on their hands, why not take advantage of that by adding some characters that we haven't seen in a very long time? And I feel as if it'd be a really good game that way, and I'm just, just wondering, maybe that has something to do with the plot. Since Classic Sonic is also here, maybe he'll bring some of those classic characters in the modern world, like City Escape, for example. So, anything can happen. I'm not saying it's going to happen for sure, of course. This is just my personal opinion. But I would really think it'd be cool if Classic Sonic is not only brought by himself and, of course, Classic Tales, but some of the classic characters that we have not seen in quite um, several years. Like, that'd be a very good idea, and I think a very good move on Sonic Team's part. And I guess that kind of wraps up what I have to say. But anyway guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for this little analysis video. I really do hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, if you guys did, make sure as always to drop that like and a comment. Really would appreciate it. Also, when I say comment, I really, really do want you guys to participate in our little discussion right now. Since I'm talking about this on video, I would really, really appreciate it if you guys comment down below your opinions on what's going to be going on for Project uh, Sonic 2017. I would really like to hear what you guys have to say since your voice, of course, matters and all this. And we can get some speculation going on, uh, not only in this video, but outside side of it so i'm very excited to see what this game has in store for us as for new trailers and stuff like that i think sonic team is doing a great job by giving us this serious vibe for this new sonic game and of course such a huge project like this is going to be very very um heavily worked on and i think they're going to be doing a great job with it but like i said make sure to go comment down your opinions in the comment section below and i'll make sure to discuss with you guys if you guys do have any questions about anything and I'll make sure to kind of discuss with you guys if you guys do want to talk about it. But anyway, thank you all again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace, Marquezis. Stay awesome.